Hello students, today we will be covering the unit 1 which is the introduction to the financial management. We will be doing some basics under the financial management. So the agenda of today will be to cover the concept of financial management, importance of financial management, scope of financial management and objectives of financial management. Now what is financial management? So, financial management includes the two words. The first is the financial and the second is the management. Financial involves the finance, so it is related to the money. And management is how we are going to organize it and how we are going to manage it. So, in simple terms, it is the business functions that deals with the investing, the available financial resources in a way that increase the business success and the return we have which we will achieve. Also, Financial managers are there who will plan, organize and control all the transactions in a business. Their main goal is to provide the capital and how we will arrange that capital in the form of the initial investment by the entrepreneurs, debt financing, venture funding, public issue or any other source. Financial management professionals are also responsible for fund allocation in an optimized way to ensure greater financial stability and growth for the organization. Now, coming to the importance of financial management. Financial management helps us to ensuring that there are sufficient funds available to us and also maintain a balance between income and expenses so that we are ensured of the financial stability. Also, it ensures efficient and high return in the investments. It also creates and executes business growth and expansion plans. It serves as a safeguard for the organization against the market uncertainties through ensuring proper funds. Scope of Financial Management Scope of financial management means that at what level the financial management is used in the organizations, in the day to day business. So, it plays an important role in the overall success and the sustainability of an organization. Its, broad, its scope is very broad and encompasses various aspects of financial planning, control, and decision making. Here are some points which we will discuss in which the financial management scope is used. For example, the first one is the financial planning. So, financial planning helps in developing financial goals and objectives for the organization. It, financial management also helps in creating financial plans and budgets to allocate the resources very efficiently. It also forecasts future financial needs and resources. The second is capital budgeting. Capital budgeting is how we are allocating our resources or are allocating our sources of funds so that we can have a best return. So, it evaluates the investment opportunities, including the purchase of assets, projects, or investments. It uses the financial techniques such as the NPV, IRR, to access to assess the feasibility of an investment. Next is the risk management. It helps in identifying the different risks, including the financial risk and the market risk, credit risk, and operational risk. It implements the strategies to mitigate or eliminate that risk, which includes hedging, diversification, and insurance. The next is liquidity management. It helps the organization to manage the enough cash and the liquid assets so that it can meet its short-term financial obligations at the time when it requires. It also helps in managing the working capital efficiently to balance the liquidity and profitability. The next is the financial control. It helps in monitoring financial performance against the budgets and objectives. It implements financial control to prevent fraud and errors. It also conducts regular financial audit and reviews. Financial management is also used in the cost management includes such as the it analyzes and control costs to improve the efficiency and reduce expenses. It also identified the different cost drivers and implement the cost saving measures. The next is the financial reporting. The financial management helps in the financial reporting by preparing and presenting financial statements. It includes the income statement, balance sheet, cash flow statement. It also complies with the accounting statements and regulatory requirements. The next is funding and capital structure. Financial management helps in determining the 
optimum mix of debt and equity financing. It also helps in raising the capital through various sources such as loan, equity insur issuance or venture capital. Next is dividend policy. Financial management helps in deciding to, to how to distribute the profit to the shareholders in the form of dividend. It also helps in balancing the interests of shareholders with the need for reinvesting profits in the business. Next is the financial analysis. Financial management helps in analyzing the finance by evaluating the financial performance using the financial ratios and metrics. It also sets the benchmarks against the industry standards and competitors. The next is the internal finance, international finance. So management, uh, management financial management is also helpful in the international finance. It helps in managing international financial operations which includes the currency risk and the global expansion. It also comply with the international accounting standards and regulations. Financial management is also used in the strategic financial management. It aligns financial decisions with the overall strategic goals of the organization. It helps in making the decisions that support the long-term growth and sustainability of the organization. It also helpful in the corporate governance and ethics by ensuring the ethical and the responsible financial practices. It upholds corporate governance standards so that the interest of the shareholders is protected. The financial management is also helpful in the tax management. It optimizes the tax strategies to minimize the organization's tax liability. It complies with the tax laws and regulations so that the organization do not suffer in any future. Now, the objectives of the financial management. Financial management is a very important function in an organization and its objectives are aimed at ensuring that the efficient use of financial sources, maximization of the profit, profits and achieving the overall goals of the organization. So here we are discussing some important objectives of the financial management. The first is the profit maximization. So the primary objective of the financial management is to maximize the profits. So it is a fundamental objective of the financial management. It involves to generate revenues that exceeds the expenses so that we have a profit and increase the organization's bottom line. However, profit maximization should be balanced with other objectives to avoid short-term gains at the expense of the long-term sustainability. The next is the wealth maximization. Wealth maximization is more important and comprehensive goal than the profit maximization. It focuses on the increasing the overall wealth of the shareholders or owners. It includes not only the current profit but also the future value of the investments and the assets. The next is the optimal utilization of resources. Financial management aims to allocate the resources efficiently to different sectors and to the different investment opportunities. This involves determining the most productive and the profitable use of the available funds, assets and capital efficiency. The resource allocation contributes to the profitability and minimize waste. Next is liquidity management. Financial management ensures that the organization has sufficient liquid assets so that it can meet its short-term financial obligation at a time when it requires. It helps in maintaining the sufficient liquidity which helps in preventing the financial crisis and ensures the smooth operation of the business. The next is the risk management. Financial management seeks to identify, assess and manage the financial risk. This includes market risk, credit risk, liquidity risk, and operational risk. Effective risk management strategies aim to minimize the potential losses. The next is the long-term financial stability. Financial management focuses on achieving the long-term financial stability and sustainability. This involves maintaining a healthy balance between the debt and the equity, managing cash flows, and marketing strategic financial decisions that support the organization's growth and survival. Next is the cost control. Managing and controlling costs are the important objectives of the financial management. By optimizing the cost and the other expensive and reducing inefficiency, a corporate can increase the profitability and remain competitive in the market. Next is enhancing the shareholders value. 
financial management aims or its objective is to increase the value of the organization for its owners or the shareholders this includes increasing the share price market price of the company and paying dividends and making decisions that are aligned with the shareholders interest so that there is no problem of the agency next is the compliance and the accountability financial management ensures the compliance with the financial regulations and accounting standards when mentioned in the companies act it also involves maintaining accurate and transparent financial reports it increases the accountability and provide other different stakeholders with trustworthy financial information next is the strategic financial planning financial management also plays an important role in planning the for the future it includes setting of the financial goals and how they can develop the financial strategies and how the different financial decisions decisions are aligned with the organization's overall strategic objectives next is the ethical and responsible conduct financial management ensures the ethical and the responsible financial practices it includes avoiding the fraud misrepresentation and unethical financial behavior while conducting business with integrity and transparency next is the tax optimization financial management ensures the minimization of the tax liability within the bounds of the law which is the another objective strategic tax planning can help reduce the organization's tax burden while remaining the compliance with the tax regulations international expansion in the case of the mnc's financial management include the objectives related to the managing international operations currency risk and global financial strategies thank you i hope the basic concept meaning and scope and objectives of the financial management are clear to all of you thank you